Hey, good morning. This is Prophet Simeon Nathan. Man, it's early in the morning. We we in the presence of God, man, praying and getting some stuff. But I just I want to read something to you that uh, maybe the Lord was leading me. Just want to start reading here and and just listen to the word of the Lord. And you tell me, well, what you what you kind of get from this. This is Isaiah, the book of Isaiah, uh, the prophet Isaiah, chapter one. It says the vision of Isaiah, the son of Amos, which he saw concerning Judah. Uh, and Jerusalem in the days of Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah. Verse 2, hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord has spoken. I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. The ox knoweth his owner. He's given an example. Now he says, the ox knoweth his owner, and the uh, donkey his master's crib. But my people doth not know, my people doth not consider. And he's talking about Israel at that time. All sinful nation, a people full with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, Children that are corruptors, they have forsaken the Lord. They have left the Lord. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are gone away backwards. Why should you be punished anymore? You will continue to revolt and rebel more and more. The whole head leadership is sick and the whole heart is faint. Verse six, from the sole of the foot, even unto the head, there is no soundness in it, but wounds and bruises, uh, putrefying sores. They have not been closed, neither bound up, neither mollified with ointment. They haven't been healed. Your country is desolate. Your cities are burned with fire. Your land uh, strangers devour it in your presence. I mean, they come right in your face and, and just take what they want and do whatever they want right in your face. You seem to be defenseless. And, and the daughters, your, 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 your daughters, your, your women are left as cottage in a vineyard, as a lodge in a garden of cucumbers, as a besieged city. Verse 9, except the Lord of hosts had left us a very small remnant, we should have been as Sodom, and we should have been like unto Gomorrah. Verse 10, hear the word of the Lord, ye rulers, talking to leadership, you leaders, I'm talking about government leaders, um, the, the priesthood, the spiritual leaders, leadership, household leaders, hear the word of the Lord, ye rulers of Sodom, give ear unto the law of our God, ye people of Gomorrah. To what purpose is the multitude of your sacrifices unto me, saith the Lord? I am full of burnt offerings and rams. I'm full of your praise. And you saying, thank you, Jesus. And you saying, God, this and God, that. When ye come to appear before me, this is verse 12. Who hath required this at your hand to tread my courts or my presence? Listen to this, verse 13. Bring no more vain oblations. You bring in praise, but it's empty because there's no lifestyle commitment or obedience that, that's connected to the offering of sacrifice and praises of God. There's no connection to it. One scripture says that, that your lips speak you no know, great words about the Lord, but your hearts are far from me. Now, individually, I think we could, we could uh, con contrast from that and see that there are times in our lives where we may have fit that description. But God, we pray for our country in this time that we will begin to turn prayer warriors and intercessors and preachers and priests and prophets and evangelists people that believe in the Lord Jesus Christ begin to pray that there might be a remnant. We believe that there's time that in this time when darkness would try to show their face in the head greater, that that's the greatest time for revival. Yes, we may have dropped the ball. I'm guilty of that myself, not praying for our government, not praying for our country with the force and intensity that we should have prayed, but it's never too late. As long as you're alive and Jesus is still giving us a space, a time and grace is still available, pray and speak the word of God and we can cause not only a remnant to be left, but there's a great revival that is left to be seen in our country and our land. And I pray that we be a part of that, that you be a part of that. God needs you and I to awaken back to righteousness. And we can see the hand of God move on our home, our family, our community, and our country again in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You be blessed. This is Prophet Simeon Nathan. Until next time, we'll see you.